Hi, you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So I have got kind of a lot of favorites for you guys today. If I were thinking this through, I probably would save some for December, but I just can't. So I don't even know where to start. I guess we'll just start closest to me. So on Monday, I posted a video, a Happy Planner Miss Maker flip through video to show you guys what the deal was with these planners. I flipped through every page of both this little portfolio as well as the full size planner so you guys could see kind of how they were both laid out and the different options that you had in terms of planning. I am and have been a planner girl, a paper planner girl, well, for my whole life. Um, I had Erin Condren life planners for the past six years and Happy Planner finally got me. They finally converted me after all this time because the Miss Maker kind of concept and like the idea of each page being like, you know, a nod toward a crafter or a maker. And then the way that the pages were laid out too also really made me a convert. So if you have been a planner girl in the past, I encourage you to check these out. If you've never used a paper planner before, what are you doing? <laughs> what is your life? You need to have a paper planner. I just love sitting down every single Sunday and also the first day of the month and planning out either my week or my month. You guys are always asking me, how do you get so much done? How do you have so many jobs? You know, how do you, how are you able to travel and you have all this work um, to get done? This is how. I literally couldn't do it if I didn't physically sit down and take it all out of my brain and put it down on paper. I do my days chronologically. I have a to-do list for every single day that I am thinking through the week prior. So all week long, it is not kind of jumbled around in my mind with everything else I've got going on. It's written down and I can just run and reference these um, throughout the day to make sure I stay on task with everything I need to get done for the week. If I didn't do a paper planner, I would be the least productive person on the planet. I would be on my phone, on Instagram, on YouTube, playing games, watching trashy reality television all the time. Um, if I didn't know how much I needed to get done every day, I would be just such a waste of life. Um, so I encourage you to check out the flip for flip through video so that you can see what is in them and go check them out for yourself. Even if you don't get a happy planner this year, get any planner and that will make me very happy. Um, in December, I am going to be showing you how I um, like a plan with me, basically, how I organize my week, how I use stickers to decorate and make it more of a creative type of process rather than one that's just so rudimentary and like just writing stuff down. It is kind of fun to like put the whole page together. And then when you're done, you have like a beautiful spread and it's just so much fun. In the meantime, you can um, search in YouTube plan with me you'll be shocked. You will be, your mind will be blown to see what kind of industry is out there regarding planning. There are Etsy shops that just sell sticker kits um, that are so cute and so beautiful, um, but expensive. <laughs> I have a cheaper way. Um, and you'll just be, your eyes will be open to a whole other side of crafting um, that is also very fruitful because it helps you be more productive. Okay, so that is my like four minute rant on planners. Happy planner, Miss Maker edition, top of my list. Okay, the next thing um, <laughs> I got on a whim kind of, I was like, do these really work? You know, is this really gonna help? And they are these guys. Um, they are basically finger protectors for when you're ironing and pressing because you know you have all that steam coming off of your iron so if you are doing like a baby hem where you're folding something over and you're having to hold it down while you press it this will prevent the steam from burning your fingers and i can attest 
I burnt my finger with steam and then I was like, oh yeah, I bought those little protector things. Let me go put them on and see how they work. And it was like no heat whatsoever was getting onto my fingers and I was able to get really, really close to the edge with my iron and couldn't feel a thing. So these are staying with the rest of my ironing stuff um, because they really do work. I mean, there's not much to them. They're just silicone little finger covers. For some reason, they have little nubs on them. I don't know the functionality of the nubs. I will say the only thing that I don't like about them is that because they're rubber, you can't like glide your finger along the fabric like you normally would. Like it obviously catches and pulls the fabric. So you have to physically lift your finger. So that's kind of annoying because I'm like, my habit is to just glide my finger along the seam and kind of, you can't like turn the hem as you're going. You really have to be very kind of methodical about it because your fingers are basically kind of useless. They're just not getting burnt. So I guess it's, I guess it's like the lesser of two evils for you. If you would rather have the control of your fingers and don't mind them getting burnt, maybe this isn't for you. But if you don't want burnt fingers <laughs> and that, that feeling whenever the steam, because it doesn't hit you right away. It's like a delayed reaction. And then you're like, <gasps> and then you realize how hot it is. And th that jolt of adrenaline, I hate hate that feeling. I hate being scared. I hate being surprised, all that stuff. So for me, I will just figure out a way to manipulate the fabric, um, but I don't want to be burned. So um, I got these. Link in the description box to find them. And then since we're talking about finger covers, I also tried this, um, not to be giving you guys a middle finger, but this little thimble, um, normally I use the metal ones, um, but this one is like new and improved technology of 2018. It is shaped differently. It's not just a cone like the metal one is. And it also has like the backside is like soft. So it's malleable and it has little vents in it. So your finger doesn't get sweaty you know it gets sweaty in that metal one. It all, all of ours does. And then the tip of it is like, kind of like a golf ball kind of, but it, the tip of it is hard, like hard plastic so that you can push the needle through and grab it like you need. Um, so yeah, this guy is fun. If you want to spend a little bit of extra money on a thimble for like added comfort, you can try this guy out. Doop, doop. Okay. That's all the stuff I have for my finger. Um, the last thing is a new product that was sent to me by Cricut, my friends at Cricut, and it is their new Easy Press. So I have, sorry, it's heavy. I have featured the Easy Press on a favorites video before, but this one, just like the thimble, is new and improved. And my favorite part about it is that it's larger. So the other one I have is nine inches by nine inches. It's a square. This one is clearly a rectangle. It is nine inches by 12 inches. And if you know anything about Cricut and their iron on vinyl, the vinyl comes in widths of 12 inches, usually by two feet. Um, and if you're making a large project and you're filling up the entire width of your vinyl, when you were doing the nine by nine, you'd have to do half of it and then do the other half of it pressing wise. And that was really annoying and sometimes created like the not, not so perfect pressing at that little seam because it would be like half and half, you know what I mean? Um, so this is great because it covers that entire 12 width, 12 inch width range of the width of your vinyl. So if you're making something really large, like I did, um, then, it makes it super easy because you just go the width of the um, vinyl and then you go down the length that you need, pressing for as long as you need. But look what I made! Can y'all see? Yeah, it says knock real loud if it's from fabric.com. And it's a, a doormat. Isn't that so cute? 
Um, I made it or I posted it on Instagram on I think on Monday um, and you guys really loved it. I love it too. I was really surprised. I also challenged myself to come up with a project for the Easy Press that wasn't fabric. Um, this is a coir, is that how you say it? C-O-I-R, coir doormat, like an outdoor doormat that's like, coir is um, the outside fibrous part of a coconut. So it's like a natural product, but it's the really hard and scratchy one. So I wasn't entirely sure if the vinyl was gonna adhere to it, but as you can see, it's on there really good. So my lights are reflecting, but there you go, you can see it. <laughs> I just love it, I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, I actually came up with four different designs um, and then ended up actually making that one. But I'll have a link in the description box where you can access or where you can see or use, print, cut, um, the other three designs that I made as well. One of them is like probably at the fabric store. Another one is, oh shoot, now I can't even remember them all. Oh, darn, there were two more. I made them a while ago. So anyways, so that was a lot of fun and it was super easy to do because I wasn't having to do it in sections of nine by nine. I could just go 12 inches and then go down nine and do another 12 inch width and then go down nine. I ended up doing it in three parts, I think. Um, so yeah, that was super cool and super fun. But that is it. I gave you guys one, two, four favorites this month. I guess you got a bonus one. Um, so let me know um, if you've ever used any of these products before. And um, I think, I can't remember, two months ago, last month, sometime, I asked you guys to tell me some of your favorite notions and um, sewing related items. And you guys did leave me some really good comments. So if you didn't do that before, do that this time so I can continue to add to my list and try the things that you guys are recommending. Um, but that's going to do it for me today. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.